Hey guys, so this is Nirmal here for Technique and today we will show you the demo of uh, the Chrome Remote Desktop app uh, released for Android phones. So this is a uh, Google Chrome extension which, which you can install on your Windows as well as Mac and then access your PC using uh, the Android phone. So there are, uh, there are two uh, apps to install, first is the Chrome Remote uh, Desktop app for Chrome. So that's an extension then after that you need to install the remote desktop app for android phones and then you can access your pc from the android phone so let's uh, first uh, see how to set up uh, this on your uh, desktop so we'll use windows uh, pc and then install it uh, on uh, the windows pc and then we'll see how to access it from there so this is the Chrome Remote Desktop app uh, available for the web um, Chrome browser. So you can install this uh, from the Chrome Store. Now we have installed it. You can see two options here. One is Remote Assistance. Uh, second is the Remote Desktop. So Remote Assistance you can use uh, to help others if you if they need some assistance from you. So second is uh, Remote Access. So that's accessing your own PC for using the Android phone. So before you uh, start uh, providing access, you need to enter a pin. So this pin will be needed when you use uh, the Chrome uh, Android uh, Remote Desktop app. So this pin you need to be the same as uh, what you provide on uh, the Android browser. I mean uh, the Android app. So let's enter the pin. So this is uh, we'll, we'll enter the pin. So now we have entered the pin and now it's enabling the remote desktop. So you need to provide uh, some certain uh, permissions on your PC for this app to work. So we we'll, once the pro permissions are provided, so this will uh, enable the remote desktop connection on your PC. So now we have configured uh, uh, the Chrome, Chrome remote desktop app on uh, the Windows. Now we we'll let's open uh, this Chrome uh, desktop app. So we have. Uh, we need to use the same, uh, I mean, uh, the same ID which we signed in uh, for the desktop. So we have uh, just signed in with the same ID. Now you can see that uh, the, the PC available here. So this has been configured uh, from the desktop. We have already seen that process. Now we can access uh, the PC from here. So you can see now it's connecting there. So you need to have a good internet connection to get uh, started. So right now we'll uh, see how this uh, access the PC. So as you can see now it needs uh, authentication uh, to access the host. So you need to enter the same pin number which you entered the. So let's uh, go ahead and enter the pin. So you also have an option that don't ask for a pin again when you connect uh, to this host from other device. So let's uh, now enter the pin. So we have entered the pin now let's uh, get started with connection. So let's uh, don't ask for a pin again when we connect. So now let's uh, connect this. So you can see now we have access to our Windows PC, the Windows 8 machine. So now we have this uh, mouse control here. So we can just open apps. So, so let's just open one app and uh, I'll just show you how it works. So let's just open uh, VLC player. So we have, a we have access now to all the apps. So we are just opening uh, one of the apps. So we can see the access here. So we can have all the, you can see a mouse pointer here. If you can see on the screen, there's a mouse pointer. So that uh, that will help you open the apps and other uh, options here. So there you go. This is the desktop. Uh, so this is how you access uh, your Windows PC or the Mac uh, from the Google Android using the Chrome Remote Desktop app, uh, app uh, both on Chrome as well as Android. So um, it looks pretty decent. It's not that great or I mean that's not that fast because there are a few issues. Uh, while accessing it but overall it uh, it's pretty decent app uh, if you want to access your desktop you don't get all the fun although you get all the functionality uh, using windows on a small screen is in that great experience but it's it, sh it should be uh, useful if you want to help somebody out you have also remote assistance apart from remote desktop so that should be a handy feature if you want to help uh, others so this is how uh, the chrome uh, remote desktop app works on the android phone as well as um, um, on the chrome uh, uh, browser so you need to set it up and use it so you can download this free of cost um, uh, from the google play store the links are in the description you can go ahead and download it on your android phone so that's all guys if you have any specific queries regarding uh, this uh, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries if you like this video hit the like button subscribe for more videos like this and thanks for watching this video